this is a concept I've talked to many, many nutritionists about, and people who are interested in nutrition really get confused by this concept. So I want to kind of break this down for you. I have two potential snacks, right? So I have an apple and I have this uh, protein cookie, right? So essentially a uh, an apple, a natural food came off of a tree basically, right? Got this at Whole Foods, an organic apple. And then we have this protein cookie, which is, you know, essentially a processed food, um, high in protein, high in fiber, but an engineered food. And the question typically with people who have very strong biases in nutrition, which we need to be careful of, is which of these would be better to have as a snack? And almost everybody who is sort of a naturalist in nutrition would essentially say you should eat the apple and that this is a processed food. And what I would say is not so fast, and this is what's very important to understand. Obviously, if we are gonna look at food in isolation, right, if we're gonna view it from the standpoint of vitamins and minerals and have this natural bias and kind of think what would be great to have as a standalone, then maybe most of us would agree that the apple's probably better. It's got more of a whole food to it. It is a whole food. It's got, uh, you know, sort of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals and those kinds of things in it and we tend to see it as that right but that's not how we eat our meals we eat our meals uh, based on the last meal we had and let me say that again we typically are eating our meals choosing what to eat and determining how much we are will eat or how much we're going to crave what foods we're going to crave based on the foods that we had before so in a sense really the decision becomes which of the following foods this apple or this protein cookie is gonna make you more likely to eat better foods later. For example, we all would agree that a salad maybe with spinach and greens and romaine and chicken and uh, a nice full vegetable salad would probably be your ideal meal. Well, which food, the apple or this protein cookie, would make you more likely to eat that salad more often? What if you had the apple, ate this, and because of eating this, you were craving junk food later and because of eating this healthy whole food apple you ended up eating worse foods later for the day and having a worse overall day versus eating this protein cookie perhaps this satiates and satisfies you better and makes you more likely to eat that salad more often and so when you look at food from that point of view not just what the food is in the moment not just its particulars its vitamins its minerals your bias as to whether you should be eating whole foods or not and you look at it in terms of how it affects what you eat the rest of the day which is really how we should be thinking then the decision becomes a very individual one doesn't it if you eat this will this keep you full satisfied and allow you to eat more better things later or will this keep you more satiated satisfied and allow you to eat more better things later that's kind of how you want to talk about this but if you're going to be going into this biased approach and have this biased approach to this is processed junk food and this isn't well that's not really going to be helpful if this whole food makes you eat more processed junk food later and we have to understand this how does the foods that we are choosing in the moment affect what we will choose later because that's actually how our metabolism works hunger energy cravings heck hec keeping your heck in check is all about choosing the right foods for you whether they be processed or not that is an important concept to get and if you can't get past your biases in nutrition and these narrow-minded views about single foods you may not be able to be as successful as you want to be with your health and fitness goals i hope that's helpful for you guys